So to help us better understand vector fields, we need to look at some more illustrations. So we're here, we're exploring sketching vector fields by hand. So it's important to keep in mind that drawing vector fields of actual length or by choosing points to plot at random can make the sketch cluttered and difficult to interpret. So here we use proportional scaling for simplicity. So we're going to be better able to interpret our vector field and it's going to be more enlightening to plot vectors in this vector field of equal magnitude. So keep in mind that this is actually going to uh, correspond to finding level curves in a scalar field. So in this first example, we are looking at a rotation field. So this is a common vector field that we'll use for the rest of the semester. So we're asked here to sketch some of the vectors in the rotation field given by this vector valued function. So the first thing that we want to do is find vectors of equal magnitude. So by finding vectors of equal magnitude, we'll be able to identify a level curve that each vector sits on, making our graphs, again, much easier to interpret. So the first thing first, we want to let C be any scalar your little heart desires. And because we want vectors of equal magnitude, we can go ahead and let the magnitude of our vector field, capital F, be equal to this scalar C. So we need to find the magnitude of this vector field that's given to us. So if it helps, we can think about our vector field, capital F, in its component form, minus y, x. So plugging this in for our magnitude here, we have the square root of negative y squared, which gives us y squared, plus x squared, which gives us x squared, is equal to c. And so now we can go ahead and find the level curve. So we want to identify the level curve. So to do that, we will square both sides of our equation. And this leaves us with y squared plus x squared is equal to c squared, which we recognize as a circle. So this is the level curve that we'll be using. We have a circle centered at the origin of radius C. We really should say a radius absolute value of C. So now that we have identified a level curve to plot vectors of equal length, we're ready to begin the sketching process. So we are ready now to sketch our vector field, capital F. So to do that, we want to choose a value for C and try to pick an easy value for yourself. We don't have to pick anything crazy here. One is an excellent choice. And then we use this to plot several vectors on the resulting curve. And that's our resulting level curve. So to sketch the vector field, we're going to choose a value for this arbitrary constant C, and then plot several vectors on the resulting level curve. So again, you can pick any any scalar you want, I'm going to go ahead and let the scalar C be 1. So when I plug 1 into our level curve, we end up with x squared plus y squared equals 1 squared, which is just 1. So our level curve is the unit circle. So now let's go ahead and plot some vectors. So we want to create a table of values. So we need to choose 
a point x, y. And then using each one of these points, we'll be able to find the corresponding vector. Remember here we're working with our rotation fields. We have capital F of x, y is equal to the vector minus y, x. And so keep in mind the points that you're choosing here need to sit on the level curve that is the unit circle. So the x and y intercepts help us immensely here. So I'm going to start with the ordered pair, 1, 0, that sits on the unit curve. We can then go ahead and use 0, 1, also sits on the unit curve. We could do minus 1, 0, and then 0, negative 1. So we'll start with these four points. If there's too many gaps in between these ordered pairs, you'll want to choose more points. So let's see how this fares. So taking this point and substituting it into our vector, we have capital F, capital vector F of 1, 0, which gives us minus 0, 1, or simply 0, 1. Next, substituting the ordered pair 0, 1 into our vector, we have minus 1, 0. Last but not least, or not our second to last, we have the vector field evaluated at the ordered pair, negative 1, 0. And keep in mind here, this is the x and y coordinate that you're plugging in to that vector field. So y here is 0 and x is negative 1. So I have 0, minus 1. And now, last but not least, we have substituting the ordered pair 0, negative 1 into the vector field. We have minus a minus 1, 0, which leaves us with positive 1, 0. So we're ready now to go ahead and plot these vectors on our level curve. And before we do that, let's actually keep in mind and make some observations about each one of these vectors we're about to sketch. So with this first vector here, we have that it's equivalent to j hat. So this is a vector pointing in the positive y direction. With our second vector here, this is equivalent to minus i hat. So this lets us know that this vector is going to point in the negative x direction. Our third vector, 0, negative 1, is equivalent to minus j hat. Again, telling us that this vector is going to point, so it points in the negative y direction of length 1. And then last but not least, we have 1, 0, which is equivalent to the unit vector i hat. So this reminds us that this vector points in the direction of the positive x-axis. So with that in mind, we begin to sketch. So here is our y-axis, and here is x. Again, if you have graphing paper, that will help Keep your scale looking good. So trying my best here, we'll draw our level curve. So remember your level curve is a circle of radius one. So we want to identify what exactly are we doing here? So at each one of these points that we have selected, we're going to draw the corresponding vector. So we know we have a point here at one zero, we have a point here at 0, 1, we have a point here at negative 1, 0, and then last but not least, we have that ordered pair at 0, negative 1. And again, at each ordered pair here, we draw the corresponding vector. And we know from our initial work that each one of these vectors that sits on a level curve of radius, of, of radius 1, that it has a length of 1, because we've let c be 1 here. So, at the ordered pair, 1, 0, we have a vector pointing in the y direction, a vector of length 1 pointing in the y direction. 
at the ordered pair, 0, 1, we have a vector of length 1 pointing in the negative x direction. At the ordered pair, negative 1, 0, we have a unit vector pointing in the direction of y. And last but not least, at the ordered pair 0, negative 1, we have a unit vector pointing in the positive x direction. So we've sketched a rotation field. Again, that rotation field is that given vector f defined as negative y x. So if you want, again, this is not an exclusive level curve, we could incorporate an additional level curve onto our sketch here. So let's do one more for good luck. So here is another level curve, and we'll say that's radius 2. So using our knowledge from the level curve with C being 1, we know we have additional vector fields here, or excuse me, not vectors, fields, but just vectors rotating about these level curves. Right, and so the more vectors that you sketch in the field, the better we're able to appreciate how these vectors are rotating about the circle that are our level curves.